All right, folks, how we doing? Saturday Bible study. <clears throat> Let's tackle Galatians in the New Living, and if we see something wrong, like we've been doing, we'll move over. Again, this is all on a playlist, so if you want to go to my main Bible study channel, just go to it, and where you see videos, just move over to playlist, and click Galatians. Did I load yesterday's? How's everybody doing? All right, I'm finishing up with Daniel. Nope. Today would be Sunday's Bible oh, that's study. right. I knew I didn't. Because it was, um, I did finish though at Galatians 5 13. So it was the next one 5 14. And it was, so I only have to. Put that one to the playlist, which is Second Revelation and Galatians. All right, we are cooking with grease now, folks. So the end of the chapter is, let us not become conceited or provoke one another or be jealous of one another. Let us not be desirous of vainglory, provoking one another, envying one another. All right. Let's go back to the new living. Dear brothers and sisters, if another believer is overcome by some sin, you who are godly should gently and humbly help that person back onto the right path. That whole stuff about judge not lest ye be judged doesn't mean don't judge it goes on to tell you don't try to help somebody with say their prideful ways using the word pride being prideful saying i did this i accomplished that their pride when god of course has ordained everything so anything good or bad, God's ordained it. And he ordained it all at the foundation of the world. Don't help them with their pride while you're being a liar or while you're committing fornication or while you're walking around with a filthy mouth, telling dirty jokes and cussing. Remove the log from your eye, then you can help them with the speck in their eye. So once you've removed the log in your own eye, then you're walking that straight path. And again, we just went over yesterday, those deadly sins, those that do such things shall not inherit the kingdom, the deadly sins of Galatians 5, 19 through 21. But... 1 John 5, 17, not all sin leads to death. And that's that little bit of pride you never quite get rid of. Now, you will quit saying proud, pride, getting out of, you know, pagan holidays. I mean, you'll, you'll stop, but you won't stop looking in the mirror. You won't stop wearing clothes that make you feel good, look good in the mirror. Um, that sense of you, you're still trying to impress people with you. You know, there's still, you never get rid of your overall sin. But you will be conformed to the image of his son, like it says in um, Romans 8 29. So, dear brothers and sisters, if another believer is overcome by some sin, you who are godly or, or who are walking that narrow way, who are living that repentant life, should gently and humbly help that person back into the right path and be careful not to fall into the same temptation yourself. Share each other's burdens and in this way, obey the law of Christ. If you think you are too important to help someone, you are only fooling yourself. You are not that important. Pay attention, careful attention, excuse me, pay careful attention to your own work. For then you will get the sanctification of a job well done and you won't need to compare yourself to anyone else. For we are each 
responsible for our own conduct. And of course, it's the Lord that corrects you. And we went over that in detail in yesterday's hour-long Bible study. Those who are taught the word of God should provide for their teachers, sharing all good things with them. Don't be misled. You cannot mock the justice of God. You will always harvest what you plant. Those who live only to satisfy their own sinful nature will harvest decay and death from that sinful nature. But those who live to please the spirit will harvest everlasting life from the spirit. So it's talking about sheep and goats there. Not all those people are saved. Not everyone that says to me, Lord, Lord, claim Jesus. Jesus says, I never knew you because he's the one that has to bring you through the path to righteousness and repentance. We went over that in detail yesterday. That decay and death, that's hell. Hell is the grave. The wages of sin is death. You're raised, you're judged, and you receive a second death by fire. Revelation 20. Check out my hell is not eternal torment playlist on my other YouTube channel, which I'm sure you all know if you're on this channel. But those who live to please the spirit, and you're called to that, by the way, and we went detailed that yesterday, will harvest everlasting. Are you harvesting it or did God plant? See, when you read the parable of the sower and the seeds and some fell on fertile soil who's the sower who's the potter who's the clay who's the seeds if you're not sure ask me in the comments at just the right time we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up that's written as a parable you won't give up if you're his so the vessel, vessels of wrath uh, fitted for destruction are the seeds that fell on unfertile or uh, rocky soil or had no depth to it, so on and so forth. But the vessels of mercy from Romans 9, 11 through 24, that's Romans 9, 11 through 24. If you're not sure, read Romans 9 11 through 24 paul explains the fairness of god doing all of the work and choosing his before the earth was even formed sheep are born lost goats are born goats and so those that um, fell on fertile soil and sprang up and produced fruit are the vessels of mercy you can compare and contrast both Therefore, whenever we have the opportunity, we should do good to everyone, especially to those in the family of faith. Notice what large letters I use as I write these closing words in my own handwriting. Oof, I hate all caps when it's that many capital letters. You see how large a letter I have written unto you with mine own hand. He's talking about the long letter. He's not talking about how large the letters are. So that's why we always go back and check stuff out in the King James because uh, the NLT is a horribly watered down version, but it does help us. But you really got to know what you're doing. So that's why we're doing these studies, right? So, again, continuing on in Revelation, again, I teach Revelation. I've got two different Revelation Bible studies on that playlist from this channel, this Bible study channel. So, start at the beginning of both to really absorb and learn Revelation. And before the throne, there was a sea of glass like unto crystal. And in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind and the first beast was like unto a lion and the second beast was like a calf and the third beast had the face of a man and the fourth be beast was like a flying eagle and the four beasts each had each of them six wings about him and they were full of eyes within and they rest not day or night saying holy 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 lord god almighty which was 
because Jesus came in the flesh, which is, he's now here in the Holy Spirit, and which is to come because he will return in the flesh, remove his church, and put the wrath on the goats and the earth to cleanse it. And when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne who liveth forever and ever, which is God the Father, the four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and worship him that liveth forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne saying, thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power for thou hast created all things for thy pleasure. They are and were created. And if you want to get an idea Got a lot of stuff up there prepped for my next video on my other channel. Declaring. Just got through reading. Thou hast created all things for thy pleasure, and they are and were created all for God's pleasure. He created everything, the good and the evil, declaring the end from the beginning. There's a lot of evil in this world, isn't there? He's declared that. He's in charge of every bit of it. A lot of people don't understand that. From ancient times, Genesis, to the things that are not yet done, Revelation, saying, my counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. It's all for his pleasure. God said, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. And it's for what? His pleasure. The Lord hath, hath made all things for himself. Remember, it's for his pleasure. Yay, which means yes. Even the wicked for the day of evil. And the day of evil is the abomination that causes desolation. I love y'all very much. Ask questions. <laughs>